Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Kava Sewer here, coming at you from San Diego, California. Uh, today, I'm actually not going to be doing a review. I'm just going to be doing a really quick uh, video on a, a, something I've been thinking about a lot in the Kava world, in the Kava community, um, and uh, in terms of you know where we get our Kava, what kind of Kava we get, and, uh, and that has to do with uh, cultivars. Um, so uh, one thing that, um, you know, some years ago, there, there was a lot of kind of back and forth about the purity of kava and the different types of kava. And we never kind of, uh, we never got to the right place in that discussion in terms of um, kind of selecting out cultivars and varieties of kava for enjoyment. And by that, I mean, a lot of kavas that we get, uh, you know, online, that we purchase on, in, uh, you know, in different kava stores and vendors are blends of, of uh, different cultivars. You know, oftentimes you'll see kavas that are coming from a particular island. Um, it'll be, a, you know, a different island in Fiji or a different island in Vanuatu, like uh, Pentecost Island or Ambe in, in, in Fiji. And, um, and, and those are blends of different cultivars. And what you get is a lot of different stuff happening in your powder. So you're, you know, you're, you're scooping out your kava and um, in, into your shell and you're getting, you know, not just like one chemotype from one cultivar, but a lot of different chemotypes, a lot of different types of kava um, in that in that shell. And, you know, that's fine. That's that's fantastic. I mean, you know, in, in the wine world, you know, there, there are blends of, of red wine. You know, there's people mix uh, Syrah and Merlot and Cabernet Sauvignon and all these kind of things. Um, but, uh, you know, obviously there's a big difference there because, because wine varieties don't give you different effects. It's more about the flavor. But with kava, you know, if you're drinking a, uh, a, a, a moi, a, um, a hiwa, or a, a moi, or a, a I'm, I'm, I'm trying to kind of gloss over the fact that I'm forgetting how to pronounce that word, um, the, the Hawaiian varietal, M-O apostrophe I, moi, or, or whatever, or hanakapi I. Um, <laughs> uh, you'll notice that when you drink these different varieties of Hawaiian kava, uh, different cultivars, or different cultivars from different parts of the world, um, you're kind of getting a specific feeling from that kava, um, from that cultivar. And I think that it would be really great if we could find ourselves in a place uh, in the kava world where, you know, we would have the blends. The blends are great. It's fantastic to have those blends. We wouldn't want to see those blends go anywhere. You know, some of those blends are my favorites. But uh, to be able to, you know, select by the pound, by the bag, um, uh, the cultivars that we want to buy, and uh, some vendors are already doing this. You know, I think um, I think uh, uh, Kava Time, Kamath Kava, Gourmet Hawaiian Kava, and some other vendors they uh, they allow you to actually buy specific cultivars from them um, instead of just having like uh, Vanuatu, Fiji, Papua New Guinea. Uh, you're actually you're actually able to know which cultivar um, you're you're about to drink. So. Uh, you know, and then following from that, you know, we would have, you know, a pretty exciting, you know, kind of uh, set of options to choose from instead of just having wakas and loenas, you know, wakas being the lateral roots and loena being the stump, you know, we would have, uh, you know, the cultivar and then whether it's a waka, loena, whether it's a blend of waka, of, of, of waka and loena or, or um, stump and lateral roots. Uh, I think that would be really cool. I mean, you know, it, it would be good for vendors because they'd be able to um, you know, sell a, a wider variety of kavas and, uh, you know, instead of just having kind of generic names uh, for, for blends. And it would also be very good for, for kava drinkers because we would be able to more specifically find um, the, the cultivar that kind of matched our needs. Uh, because as we know, you know, as you know, if you, if you drink a lot of kava, it's it, it can be pretty intense, like how different uh, you get, how different... Um, you know, different kavas feel, and there are some that, that make you feel kind of bright and up and focused and, and kind of ready for work, and there are others that make you want to fall asleep right away. Um, you know, a lot of the brogus are like that. You kind of drink it, you just want to fall right asleep. Um, so, you know, this is something that I, I've been in, in trying to encourage vendors to do offline and in the background, and I think that it would be cool to see that in the kava community, to see... Um, you know, to be, when you log into a vendor's website and you check out what they're selling, you're not just seeing a, a blend of Waka or a blend of Loena or a blend of, you know, a Pentecost Island or, or a, 
you know, a, a blend of, um, you know, some, you know, Ambe Island in Fiji or, or, or Samoan Kava, you know, something you're, you're actually like, you know, know the cultivar you're going to get. You might even get the, the chemotype. I'm going to pause here for a shell. This is some Hiwa. Wow, that's really good. Some new stuff I got from a uh, uh, from gour gourmet Hawaiian kava, a uh, hiwa from um, the from the family the family reserve. So it's uh, an honor to be a, to be able to try this right now. Really good. Oh my goodness. <laughs> put that. I'll put that aside. We'll save that for another day. Um, wow. So yeah, I it's something that I've uh, been thinking about, and I just wanted to kind of put out a video uh, on this topic, uh, you know, see what other people have to say, you know, put it in the comments here on YouTube. Um, and uh, I'd love to hear what people's thoughts are. Um, this could be a good direction for the Kava world to move into, um, you know, knowing what cultivar, God, that he was good. Knowing what cultivar you're drinking, um, knowing where it's from, knowing, you know, what, what the chemotype is, you know, being able to kind of get familiar with the different feelings and tastes and flavors of, of and textures of all these different cultivars that are available, you know. Wow. <laughs> well, okay, I'm going to continue to drink the Siwa because I'd rather be doing that. I'd rather be drinking the Siwa um, and, and uh, staring at the at the plants here than, um, than continuing to talk. So yeah, you know, this is more just to open up a discussion. This is not a review. This is just a video, just to put out there. This is a Tanoa talk, you know, in, in a with with um, a, a 2020 Tanoa talk. You know, Kava Sewer's heart is a little in a little better place in 2020 than it was before. So, uh, I'd love to hear everybody's thoughts, um, and uh, we'll I'll read the comments and I'll you know follow up on the Kava forums. Uh, I'll follow up on the Kava Lounge, on, which is my Facebook group that I manage. And uh, yeah, Bula to the H-U-L-A Hula from San Diego, California. Shells up.